We are in Optimus Prime. Yes, I haven't sold them yet. I'm in the process of doing it, but I want to show you something. So if you look here in the app, it's been like this for the longest time that, uh, this is a reflection here, da -da 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 ding, there kinda. You see that Optimus Prime is missing those wheels for the longest time. But yesterday I got an update that might finally fix this so I'm now on the version 2.19.32.2.1, yes. And um, uh, we can see the release notes here that uh, they added... Hold on. Uh, there, there, it's a bit slow, yes. Yeah, we have to, um, have to adjust here a little bit so it's easier for you guys to read. Oh, it's a bit dirty. But it has this new feature, wheel configuration. Finally, I've been bugging them, bugging Tesla for the longest time about the wheel configuration. So you can find it here on the service, and you see here, uh, it's set to be, well, no, 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 it's set to be uh, Silver Cyclone, really? That's weird, because uh, you can see in the instrument cluster that it looks like we have the helix wheels. So there's something wrong here. Uh, it's been, some something has been bugged for the longest time. And I believe that the reason why uh, it appears like um, Optimus Prime has no wheel is because uh, there's something wrong with the wheel configuration. Uh, the, it happened uh, over a year ago. So you see, you can, yeah, this one. You see, I believe that it's been set to the Silver Helix uh, 20 inch. Uh, so we just have to set it to something. And also I believe that that sprite does not exist in here. So let's choose something. So right now the car has 20 inch. Uh, well, actually it has the 20 inch slipstream. We might as well change with that one. Uh, Okay, so now I'm gonna confirm. Uh -huh. All right, and then the whole MCU actually needs restarting. You see also this one will restart. Um, yeah, so the screen goes blank. It does something. Um, hmm, actually the MCU, the, uh, this, the big screen re reboots first, but there, there, now it updated. Yes, so, um, ah, and then this one also restarts, yeah, there. So now the, the, the changes have been done on the car, but we need, we need the, the app to also update. So let's see, um, okay, I wonder what happened now. Uh, something just kind of disappeared. And then, let's see. So uh, the car should update to the server saying that, hey, I have different, uh, Field configuration now. Uh, it takes a while. This is a bit unusual because normally the the app would be quite responsive. And you see here that the MCU is still restarting. Yeah, but the instrument cluster restarted much faster. So that's good because uh, here is where you have all the the driving data. In case you, well, I'm not sure if you can do this while you're driving, but um, okay. But this takes a very long time. Shit! What the hell? Come on. Okay, the MCU is up and running, kind of. See, it had to do all the full uh, restart thing here. What is this? What it does? Navigation, ah, okay, yeah, yeah. This, you see, we don't have uh, connectivity. It's rebooting all of that stuff. Uh, but this one, oh, we lost, oh yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. We lost the communication with the car because uh, we have no, uh, it's not up and running. So we have to wait for that one. All right, we finally have communication again. And if you look at the map, Oh, ho, ho, ho. I haven't seen those wheels in a while. Finally, it's been fixed. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> you know, I wonder what happens if I switch back to the Helix wheel. Uh, if there was a bug, a glitch, or if uh, the Helix um, a sprite doesn't exist in the, in the app. Okay, let's try that. Huh, interesting. We are back with the Helix wheels. Look here. Uh, there's something uh, uh, detail that I just saw now that it seems like the uh, the spoiler is in the upright position. Let me just go closer here to see. All right. Uh, okay. So it seems the spoiler is up, and we have changed now to the helix wheel. Let me just double check the setting here. Wheel configuration. I switched to day mode. It's easier to see. Twenty inch silver helix, but look in the app. It also shows you there. So it was obviously a bug that Tesla didn't even bother fixing. I've been bugging them for the longest time about this. And it doesn't matter really, but there are some funny comments about, oh, Optimus Prime consumed so much energy when he was in, uh, 
when it was powered because it was hovering all the time. <laughs> but it's fixed now. So there must have been a glitch. So uh, the, the sprite for it was in fact in here all the time. Yeah, just a glitch, but I don't want that with Helix uh, crap there. But let's see now. If I switch to Slipstream, I'm going to do it now. I'll just, let's see if you notice something with um, with a spoiler here. Let me see. Let's zoom in so you see better. Okay. Then I'm going to switch to Slipstream. That's what I prefer. Well, that's what the car has anyway. Okay, let's see. Okay, then it will do the reboot. Well, I mean, it will do the quick, uh, quick flip, flip. Hey, look, look, look! Huh? Uh, why does it go in? Um, nothing is happening with the spoiler. I can confirm it. The spoiler is uh, in the same position, in the up position right now. Huh? Oh, okay, now. <laughs> oh, the instrument service is dusty. Sorry for that. Uh, I'm not using Optimus Prime that much nowadays. So, um, uh, let's see what happens when it reboots. Uh, I can't tell. I have to compare the before and after. Actually, no, it seems like it is in the up position. It was just going up and down for some reason. <laughs> well, but I think that's it. Yeah, so uh, finally get it fixed. It's, you know, this is the, the less useful videos uh, in my channel. But on the other hand, it's more of the fun and interesting videos about, okay, what happened? Why was it like that? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I think uh, uh, that's it now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.